Welcome to day 13 of my return cross-country solo motorcycle trip on my Honda NC700X. And we're back. So I am at the Coulter, Coulter Bay Visitor Center and Campground in Grand Teton National Park. And, uh, oh my God, I stayed here last night. What a... You could just see... Well, I'll do a loop, see around. You can see there's a marina here. I mean, there's beautiful views. They got so much fucking camping and RV places. They have a lodge. I mean, it's kind of cool in a way, but it's uh, pretty commercialized. The thing that really pissed me off is tent camping with no water was 30 bucks. Okay. On top of that, there's no showers. Okay. I have to pay 425 for a shower. The showers get this closed at 5.30 was the last shower. 5.30 p.m. So... And then the showers opened up again at 8 o'clock. So I had to fucking wait to take a shower until 8 o'clock, which is fine. Because I got a real short day today. <coughs> but uh, oh, it's just a mess, too. You know, like, it's just, it's just, I hate to say it, it's pretty trashy. Uh, you know, they have all these bear rules here about, you know, not trying to keep bears uh, from getting food and not washing stuff, certain areas, and, uh, and, Christ, people just, uh, I was just, I had a campsite right next to the restroom, and people, I just watched people just doing, like, washing their dishes outside and shit. I mean, if any bear comes in here, he's as good as fucking dead, because he's going to eat people food. And then I love here, man. I feel like I'm, uh, looks like something that would be in a, a war-torn city. Look at the size of some of these fucking potholes, man. Some of them are, like, uh, three inches deep. So, good times. All right, but, you know, besides that, the views were awesome. Uh, the campground, like I said, sucked a dick. Uh, but it is what it is. I guess uh, what I learned about, like, going through this part is campgrounds fill up later in the day, and they don't necessarily always have the most accurate information, and you can't reserve something the next day. So, uh, so that I saw that guy's bike before. It's like an old, old-school KLR. <laughs> <clears throat> and just by how beat up it is, I'm gonna guess there's no way he's riding that thing cross country. He probably has it strapped on the back of an RV. So yeah, that's that. Uh, said going to Idaho, Craters of the Moon National Monument. I uh, went there uh, last time in grad school. That's a long time ago. God, this really is a long time ago. <laughs> I want to say that's like fucking over 10 years. Maybe 13 years ago. Pretty crazy how old I'm getting. <coughs> I'm trying to dry my towel and my underwear that I wash. Yeah, that green thing's my towel and the blue thing's my underwear strapped to my bike, ready to get air dried. A towel I just use in the shower. And that's the other thing. Guy doesn't tell me they have fucking towels there that like that's what I get for my 425. Uh, like what place has fucking towels? So anyway, I use my towel now. It's soaking wet. It's a synthetic one, and I'm drying a set of underwear on the back and uh, my rag that I use to clean shit. So hopefully I don't lose any of that stuff. And uh, yeah, got 21 miles on the tank. Uh, cool thing is that a lodge here with two new beers, so <coughs> that was cool. I was able to eat some vegetables, which is also a you know good thing. Hadn't eaten vegetables in a few days. I'm in a shoulder right now. Fuck it. that uh away we go peace out i thought this was a cool sign but Goodbye. santa lady didn't agree and we're back so i figured this is pretty nice scenery i do a little filming
outside of the park. Proper, I think. Outside of the gate where you have to pay to come in, but everything I see right now is green on each side of me, so I don't know if it's a uh, national forest or it's just a uh, national park that they couldn't uh, cordon off. take some pictures of my bike but I'm trying underwear and a green towel on the back so the pictures would kind of look uh, pretty ghetto the perfect picture of my underwear flopping around if there were black underwear you probably wouldn't notice but the blue ones they stand out pretty well on the black drive bags Off. Peace out. These are probably two of my favorite picks of the trip. Young NC by itself by the Grand Tetons, and then uh, me and Young NC. Ride red. And we're back. So I just decided to take some pics of the bike. Uh, I thought this was a pretty cool uh, backdrop for pictures. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just some more of everything today, <laughs> every day. I need a shirt that says "Fill, Ride, Drink Beer, Repeat." So, all right. Well, load up on a bike, drying my underwear back there, air drying it, hand washed love oh. and with that we will say pop up peace out and we're back so we're in Jackson Wyoming on a quest to go to a brewery like in 0.6 miles we will be turning Town. Yep, yep. The Mary Piglets. The bulldog. This 
This is like the busiest small town ever. BMW scooter. Oh, I know why she's not talking to me. Volume's not on. See the brewery down there, that's cool. Brew pub. Brew pub, what? Probably one of the coolest statements on a beer shirt ever. And we're back. So I just had lunch. I just got fuel. And now I am in just in time for a fucking afternoon thunderstorm. And I did not put on my rain gloves. That was my screw up, but doesn't seem like it'll be really cold, so I think I will survive. You get to go through some uh, pretty crazy switchbacks, so hopefully it's not hopefully it's not pouring when I get through the switchbacks areas. Teton Pass. Huh. Good times. Good times. Anytime something says a pass, uh, I lost some hay. And I 
my towel was almost dry and I repositioned it and now it's going to get soaked again. But the good thing is it dries pretty fast. Yep, yep. This storm actually lasts a little bit because otherwise I am going to be sweating my ass off. So I was like, oh, it's only an hour, but it's one o'clock. So that's two, three, four o'clock, three hours. Three hours a ride. This should be fun. So. All right, well, I'll switch this fucker off for a while. Because <coughs> even though I was charging it during lunch off the bike battery, I think I left it on. So anyway, peace out. And we're back. So it's still raining a little bit. I love to see the sign. Steep mountain pass, 10% grades. 10% grades are pretty serious grades. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much fun this turns out to be. raining now but the roads are uh, probably wet enough to be a little slippy hopefully it rained hard enough to clear the oil off time to tell bicyclist is coming across like a madman this is like adventure fucking capital of the world here like all badasses kayakers and uh Mountain bikers, hikers, <coughs> climbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll be in Idaho in uh, 12 miles. So maybe I'll turn the camera off for a little bit and they can film getting into the line. So with that, peace out! And we're back. So not probably the best weather for doing the Grand Teton Pass at 10% uh, grades in a fucking downpour. So, good times, good times. Fucking rain hurts. It's coming down pretty hard. Hopefully this fucking thing will pass. There's absolutely no place to stop even if it gets bad, so. Good times. Couldn't eat later or fucking eat faster or did something, so. Thank you, these guys. Probably shitting a brick like I'm gonna be when I'm gonna go to the downhills. So anyway, probably no need to fucking film this forever. He's out. And we're back. So the rain stopped. I made it through that switchback section. 
<coughs> that was probably some of the scariest shit I had to go through because it was fucking raining hard and 10% grades for uh, a series of them with some pretty s technical switchbacks. I was crawling through there like <coughs> 35 miles an hour, man. Just uh, maybe even less. But uh, looks like we'll be in Idaho pretty soon, so that's uh, pretty exciting. And looks like the rain has stopped, so maybe it'll stay cool though for a while. And I could keep my rain gear on just in case. I hope there's someplace cool I can pull over and get an Idaho picture. I should have brought my Idaho hat with me this trip. <coughs> Rather than my Honda hat. Good thing is for the most part there hasn't been anybody on this road. I pulled over once to let <coughs> a truck and a car pass me. That's uh, conducive to me I'm pulling over. So I got about two and a half hours to go. The towel got soaked, but I'm hoping it uh, just got soaked on the outer layer. Or maybe the second layer. Not all the way through. It'll be reasonably dry. <coughs> the nice thing about that towel is even if it's damp, it does a pretty good job about trying it. So, anywho, I don't think there's going to be even a fucking sign here. Because it should be up around this curve. Slight left. And then it should say, welcome to fucking Idaho. Idaho? Idaho. Idaho? Idaho. Idaho. So, I'll be a wuss and skip out. Call me a wuss if you want, but welcome! Welcome to Idaho! And with that, I am going to sign off. Because we'll get some filming Idaho when we get closer to Craters of the Moon National Monument. Peace out! I didn't drink any beer here. I just picked up some beer to go. And no matter where I stop, I always seem to find a friendly cat. Meow! And we're back. We're back. So, of course, I passed another awesome brewery. And that's Grand Teton Brewery. I've had their uh, Bitch Creek. Also found another cat that was my friend at this place. Keep finding all the cats. This guy's probably going out to kill some birds now. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have any beer here. Because I did my beer drinking at the other place. But I got some awesome bottles for the road. Limited edition stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. So that being said, uh, oh, sometimes I wish I had a bike over the reverse. Nothing to tall people don't think about. Save a lot more leverage. See you later, cat. Happy killing. Oh. Not a brewery. It'd be a paved. It'd be paved motorcycle parking. Idaho. 
Who the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why. Why that's so funny? GPS lady's mad at me. test if she overrode me. Grand Teton Brew Pub. I said it twice. I know GPS lady overrides my mic. <coughs> We're out of time. 416. So that's pretty good. Down here. <coughs> Looks like we're turning left on Idaho thirty one. Smith can teach yoga. Be awesome. Hope we get an arrow. No returns. And I do. Dry the back of the course truck. I remember there was a cool brewery <coughs> I stopped at when I did my last Idaho loop tour. I was in a car, but uh, I don't really know where it, where it is, to be honest with you. But in the oven and beyond, oh, it's fucking creepiest business ever. All right, well, with that, you know how it goes. Peace out. So, this highway seems pretty cool. I guess that's where I'm going to wind up over there. I think it's called 31. It's pretty nice so far. 6% uh, grades, you know, not tens. It's not raining. It's great when it's not raining out. It's a pretty nice road. Yep, yep. I think in 13 miles I'll be in a town and uh, it'll be interesting to see how much more mountainous stuff there is. <coughs> so with that, peace out. I'm down behind the windscreen to try to see if the camera's on, see if I can hear Santa Lady. And we're back. thing I've saw on this trip is every state feels the need to tell you that uh, when a school bus stops and it's either some variation with its flashers on or to pick up children state law says you have to stop 
I'm curious if there's any states where that's not a law because it seems to me every place I've lived and every place I've driven, that is like a huge ticket. It's like a five point ticket to pass a, a school bus with its lights on. So I find it interesting that every state needs to tell you that. So I'd be curious to know if there's any states that don't have that as a requirement. So. Anyway, it's uh, definitely, this is in the ag belt, I guess, of Idaho. Uh, right in the nice mountainous area. Not the ag area is bad because I live in an ag area. An ag and converted ag to suburban area. <coughs> Excuse me, a Sacramento. It's definitely hotter here, that's for sure. You need to get home, but uh, hopefully it's still not 108. So. I think the last time I was uh, in these parts, it might have been, you know, it might have been maybe 2007 or so, so 10 years ago, but it's 10 years plus or minus. And I think it was April or May. There was still a lot of snow at the upper uh, upper elevation. And I remember the park I'm going to, I uh, decided to, I wasn't going to camp because I didn't have any camping here. And I uh, slept out at that park and froze because it was like it's probably gotten to the 20s at, at night or maybe even colder I don't know but it was pretty freaking cold I remember like every two hours or so I had all the clothes I could possibly bundle up on and covering up with them like a homeless person in my rent in my car and uh, yeah it was some little teeny rental car too <coughs> and yeah, it was, uh, I'd have to turn the car on like every two hours and crank the heat. And then, sleep for two hours and keep doing that until the morning came, but it was freaking cold. So, alright, uh, with that story, peace out. And we're back. <coughs> and I'm still coughing. So we're in the exciting town of <coughs> Idaho Falls. Looks a little dated, like uh, a lot of towns on this trip. Uh, this one seems to be hanging on there. It's got 56,000 people, so that's probably why. I really got uh, nothing else to say. I hope I don't see another beer place because I'm running out of storage. I bought some t-shirts on this trip, mostly beer. I got some beer now for, not for home, but for uh, consumption at the campground. If it makes it to home, that's fine. Usually it doesn't. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So, that's about it. Just wanted you to see exciting Idaho Falls. And with that, Peace out. And we're back. We're going to the uh, historic downtown section of Idaho Falls, which has got to be more exciting. And this is it. I'll be on West Broadway Street, which we're on for 67 miles. Hopefully it's not as busy as it is like this, but I doubt it is. Food wine, I always see like food wine. Did it say beer? What I could go for is a little bit of shade. A little bit of shade. Alright, once we cross this, uh, this bridge, we'll call it quits in the river. I have to say it's the Snake River again. The Snake River is like the longest snake in the world. Probably like the reticulated python or anaconda. Yeah, it is. It's a snake, man. We've been snaking along the snake. Snaking back and forth. We've been both sides of the snake. Tributaries of the snake. Good thing I love snakes. Fucking hot! I know, if like... People at home are watching this right now. They're like, it's not hot. Because I'm gonna guess it's only in the 90s here.
pretty much we're back to the realm where cruisers don't wave to me. Seems like the northern states, not as Honda friendly. All right, and with that, peace out. So this is the way I fill my fucking bike. I don't say too loud, because this jag off fucking had to clean his windows for an hour. Okay. Anywho, fucking people. And with that, peace out. This is the one that's in my head. Country road, country road. Take me home. I don't even know how to go to the place I belong. Western Idaho. back so i made it to craters of the moon uh got a campsite pretty excited about that uh got some ice got my beer on ice uh i said uh no i just love this place it's pretty cool so uh yeah here it is it's freaking awesome all right well with that i'll try to charge this camera up a little bit tonight and uh, get some riding in tomorrow. All right. Peace out. I didn't have a cooler, so I took my dry bag, filled it with ice and my beer, and then wrapped my pants and jacket around it. We're back. I'm tucking myself in. Give you an overview of my camp here. Looks pretty good. If I don't say so myself. When it's super windy. I use the rock straps <laughs> to anchor the tent at first, and then I put the stakes in. <clears throat> the winds died down substantially. I thought about just waiting, but uh, I like this park, so I wanted to kind of do a cruise around. And uh, oh, yeah, do a cruise around, run the battery a little bit. Met my neighbor, he's a former Jersey guy, North Jersey. Pinnacles, I like this place. I mean, I'm actually glad it doesn't have showers and, and water because once it has that, a lot more people would come here, I think. And if they ever made it into a, uh, a national park, that would also be silly too. My friends like to, if you and Jill like to track me on the spot, and there's no cell service here, so if I can Yeah, I can't find it. Fuck it. I'll let them track me on the way back. So yeah, uh, they have some cool caves here. Uh, 
I didn't realize there's tons of uh, can spots over there, trash bins, recycling. That's awesome. Another restroom over here. Plenty of sites. get back if it's not filthy dark out filthy filthy dark out if it's not dark out I'll clean my uh, filthy chain I'm going to Crater's Drive here and yeah, sorry I'm gonna tell you guys this right now I'm not wearing my gear that's a dumb thing to do. You probably see in a video. I got uh, just my shorty shirt on. I think the park speed limit's only 25. So I think <coughs> you could look it up, but from what I remember, this is all leftover stuff from a, a volcano that's no longer active. Should have buttoned a few more buttons. Gonna blow away. Last time I was here, I hiked. Uh, the Rim Trail. Yeah, speed limit's 15 in the park. It's pretty cool, though. Mrs. Smith's a geologist, so she'd love it here. She's never been here, though, but I don't think it's a real uh, far ride from Cali. So, I think she needs to hoot at, do that. I could probably... Probably have to bomb out here, though, to make the most of it, right? Obviously doesn't give a shit what the speed limit is. And last time I was here there was a lot of snow. Uh, you couldn't even get into any of the caves. They were all snowed in. Pretty nice views. I should have got a pick here. I'll get one now. Uh, that's not going to work because the sun's going to be in my face. Uh, uh, Off-road driving prohibited. No kidding. It's pretty cool even to see like even after time like there's trees that are starting to grow through. I mean I guess you know a good example of that is Mount St. Helens, I can't remember when that exploded, <coughs> erupted, I guess would be the right term, in the 80s or something.
I gotta stop over here. I'm gonna turn this off for a little while. Because you're getting the gist of things. Alright. Peace out. And we're back. We're back. So here's the uh, <coughs> cone, the volcano cone, the old one. Oh, the old one. This is the cone of the volcano, the cinder cone. cool 10% grade Whee! oh that's a view there holy god that's a view man Let's see if I can get a pick all right let me turn oh, there's a car down there All right, let me turn off the camera. Peace out. That's where I walked in. <coughs> Apparently I need an allergic to stuff in the caves. This is the first hole. Through the cave. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, all right, and with that, peace out. This is by far my favorite beer picture of the trip. There's still two more days of my trip left, which means two more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace out!